hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel my name is zita and if you're new to this channel you are welcome so in today's video guys i'm going to be sharing with you how i do my ayurveda oil at home or you can call it herbal infused oil at home it is very easy and simple so guys i'll just be sharing with you how i do the most easiest version at home first you'll be needing a mixing jar where you'll be placing all your ingredients the first ingredient i'm going to add in it will be my fenugreek seed which i'll add about two to three tablespoons fenugreek helps to prevent bladeness hair thinning and it's also very high in protein and nicotinic acid content which helps to prevent hair fall and also dandruff the next ingredients will be my henna powder and the henna powder i like to use is a nupur henna powder guys i wish i pronounced that right henna helps to promote hair growth it also repairs and fortifies the hair i really like this henna and that's the only henna i've ever used for my ayurveda hair oil because it comes with nine additional herbs we'll leave all of them in the description box and how it helps to promote hair growth and the benefit it has on the hair i had an add half a cup of my castor oil castor oil also if you're on a hair journey and you have not tried castor oil please try castor oil it stimulates hair growth especially when combined with other career oils due to the presence of vitamin e and fatty acid in it also it also stimulates blood circulation and strengthens the hair from the root the next oil i'm going to be adding will be our olive oil which i'm also going to be adding half a cup of olive oil it helps to prevent dry scalp it penetrates and moisturizes the scalp causing hair to grow in thicker st strands it also reduces scalp dryness and of course olive oil also promotes hair growth next i'll be adding coconut oil into my mixture coconut oil helps to strengthen moisturizes the hair add lusters and shine to the hair guys i'll only be adding three tablespoons of coconut oil and that's just because i've noticed that during the colder month my hair tends to be very very dry if i use a lot of coconut oil and i know some people like coconut oil and some people don't so if you feel like your hair is dry or you're not sure why your hair is dry and you know you're using coconut oil try to take it out for a while and see how your hair will react to it as for me during the winter season my hair does not love coconut oil so i'm just going to go ahead and mix everything together you can add avocado oil if you like it you can add a uh, organ oil if you like it but out of the time i was making this oil i didn't have all of those oil with me so i worked with what i have and trust me i always see great result even when i use less oil you just need to make sure you know the oils that your hair likes use them and you'll still see amazing result you don't need to have all the oils you see on youtube to have amazing results guy so next i'm going to add few drops of our essential oil so i'll use peppermint oil and i'll also be using lavender oil peppermint oil helps to stimulate hair growth and it also helps to treat the scalp especially when it comes to itchiness the next oil i will be using will be our lavender oil and guys lavender oil helps to also promote hair growth increase blood circulation so i'm just going to drop 10 drops of each and then mix it very well and let it sit at a dark corner for about a week guys and let mine sit for about a week you can let it sit for two to three days and it's ready to be used but i just want to get all the benefit of it so as said before i'm just going to close it and then let it sit for about a week and then i start to use my oils but in between that if i feel like i need my oil i'm going to start using it but i'm not going to take all of it at the same time i'm going to take bit by bit so this is the before and this is our henna mix one week later on as you can see everything has settled to the bottom so i'm just going to go ahead and use my applicator bottle then i'll pour everything into it guys one thing i would like you to know is that the amount of henna you use the darker your henna oil will look like so if you use just a little bit of henna yours won't be this dark and for example if you use a lot of henna and then you also use avocado oil which is a bit darker then your, yours will be darker but it really doesn't change anything if you like to pass it through a, a cheesecloth that would be great if not for me i really don't have a problem with the color i really didn't have any uh, henna residue in it so guys 
I'm just going to pour it into my applicator bottle and I use this to massage my scalp every other day. And I also like to use this as a hot oil treatment. And guys, I like to do hot oil treatment before I shampoo and deep condition my hair. And I'll be showing you how I warm my oil before applying it on my hair. What we needing is an extra applicator bottle where you go ahead and remove the amount of oil you'll be needing for your hot oil treatment. You don't need to heat up all your oil and then repeat the same process every week because if you heat up your oil every week it means that you'll be killing the nutrients also every week so i'm just going to take out the amount i think will be enough for my hair once that is done i'll now place it inside a bowl of boiling water and let it sit in that boiling water for about five to ten minutes hot oil treatment helps to add shine moisture and also reduces split ends and after 5 to 10 minutes, it's now time for us to go ahead and apply our oil to our scalp and also our hair. Please make sure to taste the oil at the back of your palm just, just to make sure that it's not too hot and it's not too cold. At least it's the right consistency for you. They say it's a hot oil treatment, but your oil does not necessarily need to be hot. Your oil needs to be, in my opinion, look warm. I don't know why it's called hot oil treatment, but your oil needs to be look warm so i'm just going to go ahead and section my hair into four parts and in each section i'm going to first of all squeeze the oil directly to my scalp and then massage it very well after that i'm going to go ahead and now place the oil also on the rest of my strands very very well <music> sure the entire section of my hair is saturated with oil guys just take your time and apply or just coat every strand of your hair with oil so that is the amount of hair i shedded once i'm done applying everything on my hair i'm going to unravel the twist and then i will make sure to just give my scalp a very good massage after that i'll pack my hair in a bun put on a plastic bag or a shower cap you can do that overnight or you can just wait for a couple of hours and then you go ahead and then you shampoo and tip condition your hair as usual so that's how i do my hot oil treatment guys thank you guys very much for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and see you guys in my next video